Hello, hello everyone. How's it going? It's me, Jaylene, otherwise known as Fem4. I am very excited to share this topic with you today, and I'm even a little bit breathless from all the excitement. Let's discover choking. I'll discuss three things. One, what is it? Number two, three must-know safety tips. And number three, two choking tips. Number one. What is it? First off, choking is actually an act that we see underneath the umbrella term of breath play. This act in particular involves cutting off the beautiful oxygen to the brain whilst applying pressure to the neck. This act of BDSM is not only considered for risky, but actually super fucking risky as well. Yet even though it is considered more on the taboo side of things in terms of BDSM, it is widely loved activity by many, including myself. But because of the big risk factor that it does have, you don't really see much education about it in media. Which leads to, you guessed it, people not knowing what the fudge they're doing when handling precious little necks. They are delicate. <laughs> Thus, this is where the safety tips come in. Number two, three must know safety tips. These tips I'm about to share with you are super fucking important if you want to explore choking play. For the Fem Force approval, I will say that these safety measures are non-negotiable. We want no harm done in the choking fun. Tip number one, create a non-verbal safe word. Our choking pals will not be able to communicate whilst they're being choked. So we need a non-verbal, i.e. signal basically, for them to let you know when to stop. Mine is very simple. Double tap anywhere on my body and I shall release you. <laughs> the second safety measure I have for you is cutting off the circulation, not the airway. This is literally the biggest mistake most of us make. Even I made this oopsie daisy when I first started learning about kinks. You live and you learn. A lot of us think we want to block the airway, which is located at the center of the neck. Just think of your voice box, or if you're me, your karaoke box. Just located right here. Placing too much pressure on the airway spells danger because if you press the airway too hard, it has the potential to break or be damaged, which can result in either serious injury or death. Now you see why the BDSM community does not take this one act very lightly, nor should any beginner who has no idea what the heck they're doing. Yeah, I can choke people, it's easy. No. The true all-knowing mission actually in choking is cutting off the blood circulation to the brain, not the air itself. This is what will give your chokey the sensations of lightheadedness, tingling, etc. I will show you how to cut off the blood circulation at the end of this video, but lastly, tip number three for safety. Pay fucking attention! <laughs> Just because you do have a non-verbal safe word does not mean that you are safe from causing any harm and you can just go off to la la land in your head. The person you are choking can easily get to the point of being so lightheaded that they can pass out. So it is crucial, I tell you, to stay aware if you feel like your choking's body is becoming a little bit more relaxed or it's coming a little bit more slackened or even their face is kind of almost losing its expression a little bit. That is when you know to kind of almost stop and check in. Make sure they're still kind of there. And last but not least, we move on to number three, two choking tips. Like I talked about earlier, choking is about cutting off the blood circulation, not the air itself. Tip number one, the place to put actual pressure on. We're well, gonna take the beautiful heels of your palms right here, and then you're gonna take your beautiful voice box, la 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 la. And then you're gonna basically take the heels of your palms, place them beside your voice box, right underneath the chin, right here on the sides, and then you're gonna push in and upwards. Tip number two, for those with tiny hands. Because I have tiny hands, it's really harder for me to choke a person who has a little bit of like a larger neck because my hands are so small, they kind of start almost pushing in on the voice box itself. So basically, I like to double it up. Basically, what you did basically for yourself, I would do on another person, pressing it in like that, while other people who have a little bit of larger hand privileges, I guess, are able to almost squish on the sides of the voice box and able to just push it in upwards just like that. Be careful to avoid actually squishing in on the voice box itself. If you would like to see me walk you through more choking tips as well as watch me perform a choking session with one of my subs, be sure to click on the mailing list down below. As well, take a moment to subscribe and like to the Sexy Sex Ed channel. As the more I see you loving my videos, the more I love creating this free sex ed content. Alright, now that you have chilled down all this necessary info, time for you to go explore your own beautiful 
world consensual choking. Thanks for watching everyone, it is me, Ben Forth. Mwah.